In this video, we'll take a look at the molecular geometry for PO33-. This is the phosphite anion. So we have our Lewis structure here. If you need help drawing that, there's a link in the description. And then we have this table here that'll help us look at the molecular geometry for PO33-. So we can count up what's called the steric number. These are the number of kind of electron domains around the atom. So we call this one, two, three, and then the lone pair, that also counts. So we have one, two, three, four is our steric number. Next, we'll look at the lone pairs here. So we can see there's just one lone pair. So we go down, this is trigonal pyramidal, and we expect the bond angle to be about 109.5. Let's take a look at the structure for a moment. So we had three oxygens with single bonds. You can see they all spread out as far away from each other as they can. Then we had that lone pair. So when we put that lone pair on, it pushes everything down. So that's why we have this trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry or molecular shape. It says it's 109.5. This is a generic molecule, so it may be different. I would expect it probably would be a little bit less than 109.5. But this is the molecular geometry for PO3 three minus. So this is a useful table to know. It's also useful to understand how those electron domains, when they're put on the atom, push each other away and form that shape. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.